Hey friends, welcome back to Blooming with Miss B. Today we're going over Common Core Division. So first off, let's go over the terms that we're going to be using throughout division. So this is what our equations are going to be looking like. The big number that we're dividing up is the dividend. Then the small number that we're dividing each of that by is the divisor. Then our answer, the number that we get at the end is the quotient. All right, so let's dive into the equations. The equation that we're going to be using today throughout all of our strategies is 18 divided by three. So our dividend is going to be 18, that's our big number. Divisor, we're going to be dividing by three. And our answer, well, we'll get there. Let's solve it by the first one. So our first strategy is going to be equal groups. So I'm gonna start off by looking at my divisor. I see my divisor is three. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw three circles. Then my dividend, I'm going to take 18 and break this up into three circles. So I'm just gonna put one dot in each circle until I go all the way to 18. Let's go. Now that I've gone to 18, I'm gonna count up how many is in one circle and that's going to be my answer. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six. So my answer, six. Whoop. Six is my quotient. So this is equal groups. You're taking that small number and drawing that amount of circles and you're going to distribute that 18, one in each circle until you get to 18. That's equal groups. Let's move on to the next strategy. So our next strategy is repeated subtraction. Much like in multiplication where we did repeated addition, division is the opposite. So we're gonna do repeated subtraction. So I'm gonna start with my dividend, which is 18. I'm going to subtract the divisor, take away three, and that equals 15. I'm gonna take that 15 up, 15, take away three, because that's the divisor. I'll get 12. Take 12 up. Once I reach zero, then I'm going to count how many equations I did. So I did that. I did that six times. So that means our answer is going to be six. So I can pretty much see I took my 18 here. I divided by three because I subtracted by three for each one. And that equals six because that's the amount of times that I did it. So you're taking that dividend, subtracting that divisor over and over and over again until you get zero. Once you get zero, you're done. Count up how many equations you did, that's your quotient. So I like to think of division as in sharing. I have this big number that I want to share with X amount of people, our divisor amount of people. So just think of division as sharing. Okay, on to our next strategy, our array model. So again, we did this for multiplication, but it's going to be different. This time, we are going to look at our divisor again, and I see three. So I'm gonna do three circles. One, two, three, again, number them. Now, this time, instead of four multiplication, I did my other set down this way. I'm just going to follow this three until I get to 18. Now that I did that 18, I completed all my 18. I'm gonna count up my rows to see how many there are, and that's going to be my quotient. So I'm going to see one, two, three, four, five, six. So right here, six. That is my quotient, that's my answer. So I'm gonna take all together, my big number, 18 right here. So I'm gonna have 18. I'm dividing by this three. And then I found that I have six rows. So start with that three, make sure you got all 18 in there, count up your rows. Next strategy is number line. So if you've seen my multiplication video that I'll put up here, this is going to line up really well with those strategies because we're just doing the division version of those strategies. Because like I said, multiplication and divisions, they're just opposites. I have my number line. I start at zero, I need to get to 18. So I'm going to count by threes in order to get there. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 
So because I counted by threes, that's these numbers. This is my divisor. Now I just have to connect those. I did six jumps. So my answer is six. I see this 18. I'm dividing by three because that's my first number here. Also, I can see I'm counting by threes. And then that equals six because I did six big jumps to get there. This is also like skip counting, but it gives you a better visual. All right, so those are all my strategies for common core division. Now, just like I showed you my bonus tip for multiplication, I'm gonna show you my bonus tip for division. It is the same thing, we're just doing it a little differently. I see that my divisor is three, so that's how many circles I'm going to do. Three. And this time, instead of knowing how many lines to draw, I'm just going to count them and be writing the number. Then my lines will come after. So, I see one, two, three. I reached that 18. So now I have to count up how many I did. So I know that six is my answer. That's my quotient. All right, so that is it for division strategies for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell because you will not want to miss next week's video. Next up in Miss B's room, we're talking money. <laughs>